Wreck Raiders is an undersea adventure game for 1-5 to five players, but because it's tough to get a game group together these days, we're going to be teaching you the solo rules. A secluded lagoon full of shipwrecks has been discovered. Your team of divers is going to go to the bottom and plunder all of the treasure they can find in these wrecks. The treasure you find will either go into your vault or into your display to satisfy exhibit cards. You can also earn seashells, which can be used for their special powers or exchanged to buy sections of aquariums. First, you're going to need your own personal board. Put the main board on the middle of the table and then put treasure on the wrecks here, 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 and here. Lay out a market of aquarium pieces divided by tops, middles, and bottoms. Flip over three exhibit cards and put the shells in a supply close to the board. Choose a color and take the six diver meeples. Then put aside 18 diver meeples of a different color to represent your rivals in the game. To start, roll the dice into the box top. Then, depending where they land, assemble them onto the reef board. Now you can start drafting dice and sending your divers down to the corresponding numbers in the wrecks at the bottom of the lagoon. When you place a diver, take a treasure from that wreck. Any adjacent divers also earn a treasure. Rivals' treasures are simply discarded. As soon as you take a treasure, decide whether it's going to go in your display to fulfill exhibit cards or into your vault for endgame scoring. You're going to perform three consecutive actions, and then your rivals will perform three consecutive actions. Rivals must all go to different wrecks in a round. They must go to an empty wreck space if one is available. If there's no empty wreck space matching the rival's die, they may knock either you or another rival to an empty beach space of your choice. At the end of the round, you can spend seashells that you've gathered to buy one or more aquarium pieces. Then check for game end. Game end is triggered if your vault is full of treasures, if you've claimed six or more exhibit cards, if one or more of the wrecks has run out of treasure during the round, if all six beach spaces are filled, or if there are no more rivals left in the rival supply. If one of those game end conditions is met, you can proceed to final scoring. Exhibit cards are going to score their point value, plus two points for every conch used as a decoration. The vault is going to score one point for each unique treasure, plus points for matching rows. Aquariums will score their displayed point value, plus points for the formulas on the tops. The rulebook gives you a helpful guide to let you know how filled with pride or shame you should be at the end of the game. If none of those game end conditions are met, Keep your diving gear on and head back down to the bottom of the lagoon for more treasure. We hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of how to play Rec Raider solo. For the complete rules and information about all of our games, please visit our website, kidstablebg.com.